Hello my dudes, today's video is a big one. I have quite a lot of life updates to share with you guys and I'm very excited to do so. First of all, I'm gonna go over life things and then I'm also gonna be doing a little um, room tour for you guys, so stay tuned. In the past few months, many things have happened in my life and I'm just rolling with the punches. You may or may not know that I have a boyfriend and his name is Nathan, he is wonderful. Um, we met at camp such a camp thing. But he hasn't been featured in really any of my main channel videos yet. If you're subscribed to my vlog channel, you would have seen Nathan by now, and you will be singing a lot more of him uh, on my vlog channel, but make sure you guys subscribe to that so that you don't miss out on that tan content. Anyway, Nathan is from England, and I'm from California, and originally when I went to camp, my plan was to go to camp and come home, and I thought I was gonna be going to school. <laughs> this year. That didn't work out. And then I thought I was gonna just live in LA and work. And then Nathan and I were doing Long Disty. We just thought it would be the best thing for me to move here to freaking Long Island, New York, you guys. Because I have this year where I have kind of a unique opportunity to be wherever I need to be. Oh, the sun's coming out now, great. So until I go to school, hopefully, next fall, I can be anywhere and instead of you know limiting our relationship by doing long distance when it's still pretty new we're just like shit let's jump in go a hundred percent and here we are every family member I've told that I'm moving in with Nathan has asked if we're getting married we're not but hey this is a big step so yeah the news is I'm moving to New York I'm here right now this is it and we are actually leaving to England in a couple hours we're gonna go visit Nathan's family yeah wow but before I get too deep into everything, I wanna mention who I am partnering with to make this video, and that is Mapiful, which is an awesome company that reached out to me and asked if I wanted a custom map of anywhere in the world. And of course, naturally, the place I think of is Aix-en-Provence, France, which is where I studied abroad. And yes, I'm still emo about it. Yes, I have a little bit of post-study abroad depression. Not really depression, just like I miss it. So this is my beautiful map right here in this room to remind me of the place I once called home for five months or so. And the process of designing the map is actually really easy. You go to their website, mapafil.com, and then there are so many different options. I mean, first, obviously, you choose the place you want, which can be your hometown, it can just be your favorite city in the world, it can be anything you want. And then you can pick between all of these different design types. And you can zoom into the map if you want like a specific part of it or you want the greater overview of the city. Super, super easy and very fun. I ended up picking the first option. I like it, it's very clean, black and white, very simple. And then you can pick portrait or landscape, customize your map to make it fit you. But this is like the most cherished piece of decoration aside from my giant Bernie tapestry, but that's, we'll get to that. It's just so precious to be able to look at this map and see this place that means a lot to me and always will. If you're a person who cares about a place in the world, this map is for you. And once again, thanks to Mapiful, they have offered you guys 15% off with the promo code Tiffany15. So click the link in the description and go get yourself a freaking map, dude. All right, back to the news. So, um, moving in with my British boyfriend, going to meet his British family, not getting married. But we will be living together, which is crazy because I have never lived with anyone romantically. He's sitting in the living room right now, so I'm like, should I like drop some tea and let him over here? Should I spill some chai? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Crazy in the best way though. So in case anyone out there is gonna be like, um, is it too soon? No, don't even, you don't have to say that. We know it's fast, but also it feels right. And why not? You know, why be limited by arbitrary, like time lines of like what a relationship should be? But I think it will work out very well and I'm very excited. So I just got here two days ago and I started to unpack my stuff. And while Nathan was at work, I was like putting all my shit around the room, which is so funny. So this room is basically half Ikea and half me. All right, let's do this quick little room tour, dude. There's not much to show, but there will be eventually. Nathan. <laughs> just realized how funny it is that I just called out to him like that. Nathan, hello. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Uh, 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 action. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, hey guys, welcome to my room. Nathan lives here too. I've already filled it with all of my most important belongings. First, map a full baby. Get your own map, dude. You will not regret it. La rotonde. Is rotonde feminine or masculine? I think it's feminine. A core Mirabeau. I used to sit there and write in my journal at sunset. And then I lived somewhere down here in the dorms. Memories forever. <laughs> Is it clear I'm claiming my territory? It was funny because when I was asking Nathan like what decorative things I should bring, he just said yes to everything. And I'm like, are you sh are you sure? Are you sure you want this? Okay. Uh, that's me being a stock photo model, by the way. This is my Starbucks, it's always here. And half finished. Nathan got me a clothes rack, mostly for decoration purposes. It looked better yesterday before I packed because I had more like, sweaters and stuff. But I wanted to rainbow-wise. What's the word for putting something in rainbow order? It's not alphabetized, but it's similar. Is there a word for it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I organize my clothing by color, you could also say. And then when you get to like white, where does white go in the rainbow? Or black? Um, this is, what is this? It's like a AC unit. You know? I'm like, what is this? It's in like the worst possible place. These are the windows and we've got some little Christmas lights that I don't think Nathan likes. I don't know if you, do you like them? No. <laughs> he hates them. Good thing we don't use them. Okay, it's finally my time to shine. It's a, it's an artful Bernie Sanders, by the way. Mayor Bernie of Burlington. This is another one. I was like, babe, I have a, a tapestry. Um, <laughs> And Haley Blay tweeted something great about tapestries, but I felt like that. I was like, mm, do you want my Bernie Sanders tapestry to take up half of a giant wall? And he said yes, so. With regret. With regret? Now I got this mirror. Do you want to show yourself that? <laughs> what? When Bay and you stand in a skinny mirror together. Classic. Um, here's the, we haven't figured this out yet. Um, you haven't figured this out. I haven't figured this out yet. Here's the thing. Nathan's so sweet. He's he's like, I'm not a neat freak, but he's much cleaner than me and better at being organized. So then I come here and just throw all my stuff here and I can already see he's like wanting to move things into better places. It doesn't matter. We went to Barnes & Noble yesterday and bought it. We bought it. We bought it. And <laughs> look at this goddamn bookmark. Never judge a book by its movie. But in this situation, I don't know actually because the movie was really good. I haven't seen the original though. But this is a fat book. Like when you're reading this, people are like, oh, you, you read. Cool. My dad recently told me he has read one book in his adult life. That's terrible. Me and my mom were like, that's fucked up. <laughs> dad, you gotta read more. Oh. Break your family. It's my family. <laughs> Sorry. Did they, did they mean something to you? If you're subscribed to my vlog channel, you know that this happened. I was trying to find a place to hang this guy, and I realized it might be a little much. Too much burning. Too much burning? See you in 2020, baby. And then the bed corner. This is my side. This is a bear that came with flowers that Nathan got for That's your my side. Birthday. That's your side. This, That's well, a yeah, lie. I meant this. <laughs> this. This is From my here side. To here, here. here is your side. Okay, here's the thing. I am not a bed hog in any way, I would say. I don't nice. think I'm that aggressive. Nathan comes and lays, and he sits like right on this edge. So it's your own fault. <laughs> um, I put up pictures of me and my friends. Someday we'll have pictures of us, I guess. A couple of my postcards that I've collected from France. Oh, you, you, tree. you've been to France? Yeah, did you know that I, um, I studied abroad in France? Ah, oh, I didn't it's know that. It's a beautiful town, Aix-en-Provence. And this is, this is Ikea, in a nutshell. <laughs> we took, we took the literal exact Ikea light, <laughs> it, but I like it. I like it. Ikea. Ikea. Is everything Ikea? Is this Ikea? No, this is Amazon. Amazon. Ikea? Ikea. 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 This is our Ikea living room. I do like the couch. I like the pillows. I like the color scheme. It's very dark, isn't it? <laughs> Should we turn on the light? Is that better or worse? Yeah, that's better. Cute little like rocky freaking... Coasters? <sighs> Coasters. An outdoor like patio <laughs> chair. <laughs> Ikea. But this is an outdoor chair, so just wanted for the record, everyone to know. Oh look, another inconvenient. <laughs> AC unit that I will never bump into. This is also the most Ikea thing. Did it look this 
with the baskets this in that order. This Ikea? You need to show them our, our bookcase with loads of books on. Oh yeah, sure. Oh, sorry, I'm about to travel. I'm a, I'm a bit of a traveler. First of all, imagine this bookshelf sans books. Pretty cool, pretty rugged, I'd say. I brought a couple of books. Literally 75% comedic memoirs and one part this like crime novel that I haven't even read a page of. That's good. I just have to buy more books. This was the thing. I was very close to buying a lot of books at Barnes & Noble yesterday and then Nathan asked about the books that I have if I've read them or something. No, not yet. <laughs> Gonna fill probably all these shelves with books because I read. The kitchen baby. Okay, this is such a like living with two guys fridge. Do we drink alcohol? Subscribe to my vlog channel to find out. And then, is it you that does this? I've never seen this. It's a Jordan thing. These are clean, empty pots and pans that they leave on the stove at all times. I'm baffled. Subscribe. There you go. Subscribe for his accent, if anything. All right, thank you guys for watching. We gotta go to the airport. Kidding Bye. So I talked a lot more about um, college plans and other things. I have a list for now. Ignore it. Do you have to subscribe to my vlog channel to find out any more information? Bye.